Hey besties, and thank you so much for joining me in today's video. Welcome if you're new. My name is Lindsay, and I love beauty so much. And in today's video, we are going to be talking about perfume, specifically perfume from Skylar Clean Beauty. Now, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I definitely did shoot my shot. I reached out to Skylar Beauty, and I said, you know what? I tried Boardwalk Delight, and I'm head over heels. Boardwalk Delight has literally had me in such a chokehold, and you know I also love peach fields too. I just wish it did last longer. Anyway, I reached out to them and I said, please, please, please send me over some of your perfumes so I can try them, test them out, and get better acquainted with the brand. And sometimes when you do shoot your shot with these brands, you guys, if you are, you know, um, an influencer or you just like have a huge perfume collection that you want to like share with other people, they will be open to that in some cases this is definitely not sponsored and they said I do not have to do a video on it but I want to that's the whole point of me reaching out so without further ado let's jump into the video so I can share my thoughts and opinions on all the perfumes that were graciously sent over to me all my makeup will be listed down below I actually tried to do like eyeliner today so um, I'm not sure how I feel about it I'm also wearing some really dramatic lashes which I think they're okay but I I just feel so weird with eyeliner and let me know how you feel about that down below as well as well as your scent of the day my scent of the day is coconut cove mixed with this EOS butter which I really love this lotion so much in the scent coconut waters let me know as well if you guys want me to do like a full video on all the products like the perfumes makeup lotions clothes I'm gonna be bringing on my cruise I think that would be such a fun video because it's coming up on the 18th or I think the 20th so here are the perfumes in question we have lime sands salt air Peach Fields, the cap is messed up on this one, so I'm trying to be super careful. I love the packaging. Coconut Cove. Boardwalk Delight, my favorite. And also Capri Summer. Starting out with my personal favorite, Boardwalk Delight. Boardwalk Delight, this is my own bottle that I bought with my own money. I love Boardwalk Delight so freaking much. If you want to smell like legit cotton candy, look no farther. This is absolutely fabulous. If you are someone that has a sweet tooth, but you still want something refreshing and a bit aquatic, this is unreal. For me personally, there's also something very nostalgic about it. Me being 22 right now, I typically don't reach for cotton candy. It's not a snack that I really eat anymore. Even when I go to, you know, amusement parks or if I was on the boardwalk, it's not going to be my first choice, but it does remind me of when I was younger, being at Disney or Bush Gardens and eating cotton candy and being so hot, sweaty, but just having the time of my life. This is such a transportive perfume. I really love it. And every single time I wear this, I'm just very happy and just very ready to be out and about. It's such a pretty perfume. I also even love to wear it at night sometimes because it does have this um, clean aspect to it as well. If you do sit there and smell it, then kind of like laundry dryer sheets, but very sweet from the vanilla, from the raspberry, the sweetness is coming from, I mean, also the coconut milk helps it be so refreshing as well. Beautiful notes in this perfume. But yeah, it does have a clean vibe to it as well, like a clean aspect, which does make it perfect for also when I do have that sweet tooth for bedtime. So this to me is so comforting, so fun, and I think it's honestly my favorite Skylar perfume still. Boardwalk Delight has top notes of watery notes, raspberry, and apple, middle notes of coconut milk, water lily, and guava blossom, which really have me intrigued, base notes of cotton candy, vanilla, musk, solar notes, and then also amber. Beautiful, beautiful scent profile. Next up, we have Peach Fields, and I actually already had this one in the travel size, which I did love this scent. It's just, I'm gonna be honest and say, these Skylar perfumes are not super long lasting. Some of these perfumes just do not project that well, and that's okay because they are clean, which is the positive side. So Peach Fields, I really do enjoy this one. The scent of it, I just put it on. 
is so nice. It's the perfect mix of fruity and floral and such a pretty girl perfume. A very easy reach for summer. I'd love to wear this one to brunches. This is a great perfume for those of you that do like peach, that do like florals. And there's also something woody about this as well that I really love in that base. I love cashmere and I think cashmere is in here too which really just helps smooth out everything so it's no shock to me that even though there are florals in here they just work so well because I know not everyone gets on good with florals. Let's go ahead and go over the notes but for me I would wear this literally anywhere. Super pretty perfume that's all I can really say. So we have top notes of white peach grapefruit and mandarin orange, middle notes of osmanthus, lily, lily of the valley, and vanilla, and then base notes of musk, sandalwood, and then cashmere wood, and then amber. So definitely a woody vibe you're getting for sure. It's woody, it's floral, and it's fruity. That's really all I'm getting from this fragrance, and I love it. Beautiful. I'm also having an issue with the cap. As you guys can see, the silver rim is stuck in the cap and I cannot get it out. I've tried everything. I'm going to keep playing with it. That issue is actually happening with two of the perfumes they sent over. I'm not complaining, um, but it is a struggle trying to get it out. So bear with me on that. Now listen, if you want to smell like a straight up margarita, I would say Lime Sands. For me, I would have to be drinking when wearing this perfume because it's just gonna make me want to party and have fun. It's a very energizing scent for sure. I think the lime is super punchy and just in your face and for that reason it is something I like to wear when I'm having fun, when I'm out and about, probably at the beach or just maybe even like honestly drinking margs with my friends when we're out eating i think that would be so fun as well it's a very fun upbeat type of energy and i do like that the only issue i have personally is when i wear this i typically tend to wear it with like a vanilla body butter or body oil just to add a bit of sweetness because for me with lime or lemon very intense zesty fragrances i feel like they can go cleaning product really really quickly and with this one it doesn't smell like cleaning products but I will say it's like on that line for me where it just needs a bit of something else to really make it a love for me. This is just a very heavy like. It's not a love, but when I do add like a sweet perfume with it or sweet body oil or body butter, whatever the case may be, I think this is an absolutely delicious perfume. So for me, I really like this one. And I think for summer, I mean, that's the only time I would wear this. So unless I'm drinking Margs with my friends, like I said, at a restaurant, restaurant. This is such a beautiful summer staple. Not gonna be for everybody. Let me just do not blind buy this. Do not blind buy this one. <laughs> and Lime Sands has top notes of lime, sea salt, and verbena. Middle notes of coconut water. I don't get any coconut. Lily of the Valley and Orange Blossom, and base notes of Musk, Driftwood, and Vanilla. Now Capri Summer is definitely easier to love than Lime Sands, but what I will say is it's not as unique to my collection, but you guys, it is so juicy. That's the main word. Think juicy fruits. It's so tasty, and it's so happy, and just refreshing. Every time I spray this fragrance, I kid you not, in my brain I just go, ah, like that type of aromatic vibe that you just love and cannot get enough of. I gravitate towards this one so much ever since I first got it. I wish it lasted longer. That's the issue with all Skylar perfumes, just being honest. If you do pair them with, you know, other body butters and body lotions and oils, you're going to get better results. But I will say it is such a happy summer fragrance. A lot of um, citruses going on. There's bergamot, which is my happy note. There's blood orange, which is super interesting to me. And there's also, what is it? Grapefruit. You get a lot of the grapefruit, but it's not super sour or super super tangy to my nose just being honest with that you also get the neroli that is a star of the show as well and i really love that and the lily of the valley so some florals for sure 
but more than anything I just get those juicy fruits and they are so delicious and tasty and for summer I think this is an absolute beautiful must-have. The notes on Capri Summer are grapefruit, blood orange, bergamot, neroli, lily of the valley, rose, musk, teakwood essence and vetiver. It makes sense that there's vetiver in here. It makes sense the musk in here. The teakwood essence, you know, now that I'm really thinking about it, okay. Um, what I get most though is definitely those citruses, the neroli, lily of the valley for sure. And I don't necessarily know if I'm getting the rose, but more than anything, it's just, oh my goodness. So juicy and fruity. I love it. It's sweet, but it's not too sweet, you know? Next up is Salt Air, and you know what? I do like Salt Air. It's not a love for me. I'm gonna be honest, it's not the most me fragrance, but I think time and place for sure. I would wear this on a boat. I would wear this at the beach, um, doing like a cute walk on the beach for a day. I think that would be perfect. Um, when I smell it in the bottle, there's something so, what's the word, like astringent, very strong, very sharp, but when it warms up on your skin, there's something a little sweet to it. I'm not sure what that's coming from. This perfume for me, it's definitely unisex. I could see a man or a woman wearing this fragrance for sure, and I think that's why I'm saying it's not necessarily my favorite because I think it even leans a bit masculine. It's so strong with that salt, and I think also with the driftwood. Driftwood is not a note that I would see myself ever wearing, but I don't know, there's also something I really like about it. It's very unique to my collection in that I have nothing that literally smells like beach air. In my collection, it really does smell like salt air with a bit, a bit of sweetness on the dry down that keeps it from being something I would just never put on my body. So I do like this, it's just not a love for me. I would say it's one of my least favorites just because it's not a scent I'll gravitate towards for a few different scenarios. There's so many more perfumes in their lineup that I know I'll consistently reach for, you know, maybe even for every day, for running errands, for, you know, dates, for, you know, brunch, anything like that. And for me personally, this one has to be something marine that I'm doing, something where I'm near the sea for me to actually enjoy this fragrance, just being honest with that. So I do like it, but I don't love it. And the top notes are sea notes, sea salt, green coconut. Maybe the sweetness is coming from the green coconut. Middle notes of mineral notes, frangipani, jasmine sandback, and then base notes of sand, seagrass, driftwood, and sandalwood. So just off of reading those notes, I can tell it's not a me scent, but it is one that I can appreciate in my collection. And I'm definitely going to keep it and, you know, wear it for different times and I mean I think it is a very clean girl beachy scent but moving on to a fragrance I actually really do love which is coconut cove coconut cove is more of a clean coconut scent it's very fresh I should say I think coming from the lemon there is also cardamom in here which I really do love in my coconut fragrances I love it in Soleil Blanc from Tom Ford and I love it in this one as well and I'm getting that a lot like a lot I'm also having the same issue with the cap with this one, but it's all good. At least this one like still clicks down and closes. Peach Fields just will not, but this is so pretty. Very pretty coconut, very unique to my collection. There's also this freshness, this cleanness, I think coming from the lemon. And this is another one that does put a smile on my face. I will say for me personally, I don't have to be outside when I'm wearing this fragrance. Like for example, Juliet has a gun, Lust for Sun. That is a floral coconut fragrance where I feel like I just have to be outdoors. This perfume though is a bit more low key. Like you could be in a restaurant, you could wear it like doing your errands, you could wear it for brunch, you could wear it like at the beach if you wanted to. It's kind of giving resort energy in a way for me and I love it. So I think this perfume is very versatile in that way. I think it is a stunning unique coconut. I think it's sweet but it's not too sweet. 
And I think it is a very beautiful fragrance if you do like coconut, if you do like cardamom, ambroxan, florals. It's just so stunning, you guys. I gotta read the notes. Top notes are bergamot, hibiscus, cardamom, and lemon. Middle notes are coconut, gardenia, green notes. I do get the green notes. And jasmine. Base notes are ambroxan, woodsy notes, heliotrope, and vanilla orchid. And I didn't really think of heliotrope before I saw that, but now that I smell the fragrance again and I'm really thinking about it, I can see that definitely. So I love this fragrance. I think it's definitely worth the reach. I think it's worth the sniff next time you're in Sephora. It is so pretty and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed my thoughts and opinions on Skylar fragrances. I would say my overall favorite still would be Boardwalk Delight. I just don't think it's getting better than this, but I also really do love Coconut Cove. And I think it's a tie between Peach Fields and Capri Summer. Lime Sands probably following at number five. And then Soul Air being number six. That would be my ranking if you guys are interested in that. So yeah, I love you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, do not forget to like, comment, subscribe, all the good things. I will see you in the next one. And don't forget to comment down below your favorite Skylar fragrance. I would say the next one on my wish list to get my hands on is gonna be, of course, Vanilla Sky.